Courts have had to take longer than expected delay in justice to desperate Kenyans. Land dispute cases lead in number of litigations that have dragged in courts for decades. However, the judiciary has laid out measures to curb further piling of case files that will expedite justice to Kenyans even in the very remote areas of the country. Nano Clauren with the details. He has equally, as his siblings have done, they say justice delayed is justice denied. As of 30th June 2020, the most pending court cases were recorded in the magistrate's court with 483,864 cases, followed by the high court with 89,415 cases. The Cathy's court registered 7,817 cases and the court of appeal 7,598 cases. The least pending case Cases were recorded at the Supreme Court with 89 cases. The productivity on effort to eliminate case backlog has continually been compromised by the understaffed courts. The judiciary is currently operating at 56% of its human resource capacity. This follows the nomination of 41 judges by the Judicial Service Commission, JSC, for appointment by the president as provided in the Constitution. The appointment process is still pending in the office of the president. We may have a new station but it's only allocated only one judge or one magistrate. And if it's a station that has many cases, that magistrate or judge is going to be overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. So I think there's also an issue of staffing. And, 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 and I know it's been discussed a lot. I think what, what has been out there in the media is uh, uh, you know, the delayed appointment of 41 judges mm -hmm. by, by the president. Uh, but, but, but that's a tip on the ice, uh, iceberg because those are judges of the High Court and the Court of Appeal. We're talking also of magistrates of the lower courts. Even these lower courts have challenges with staffing. Ideally, any case should be done away with within the shortest time possible. However, land dispute and corruption cases have been notorious in piling up in courts. A case in court in an ideal situation should not take more than one year or 12 months, ideally even the most complex. Uh, uh, so, so if it goes beyond one year, then that case is going to be categorized as forming part of the backlog. Over 50% of the disputes revolve around land. Mm -hmm. And that's why I think if you saw the, 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 the judges that are pending uh, for appointment before the president, most of them are the Environment and Land uh, ELC court. The Anti-Corruption and uh, Economic Crimes Act says that uh, ideally, graph cases should be cleared within one year or within 12 months. So that then again, uh, you'll have confidence in the judicial system. However, cases older than five years have reduced from the baseline number of 170,186 in the year 2015-2016 to 118,563 in 2016-2017 downwards to 102,963 in 2017-2018. In the year 2018-2019, cases drastically dropped to 30 9,381 and reached the lowest level of 35,359 cases by the end of June 2020, marking a 79% reduction. A new program dubbed the Court Annexed Mediation rolled out by the judiciary as a move to reduce traffic of cases in court has been seen as an objective process of resolving disputes with both parties meeting at the negotiating table. But the courts have uh, uh, realized that they can actually assist parties to settle matters amicably with the help of the court and, 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 and therefore the influence of the court annex mediation. That the parties can come under the umbrella of the court, they bring out their issues under a mediator who is appointed by the court, and the court oversees that whole process so that you don't need to go through the whole process of litigation. Litigation by itself is very cumbersome. It is very tiring. Since the advent of the 2010 constitution, there has been a continuous push to open new stations and especially magistrate courts that have since recorded over 300,000 cases. Among the last acts that uh, the retired Chief Justice David Maraga was to open um, a court in Nyamira, and, and I'm giving that as an example in the sense of what you consider 
most of the interior or the outpost stations. And having gone around the country, I've even seen court stations in very, very remote areas, I would say. So they help in ensuring that uh, we have uh, as many courts as possible to be able to pick up. After COVID-19 struck the country in March last year and took longer than it was anticipated, the judiciary had no option but to hasten the judicial proceedings and make the most out of the digital space. So most of the times we've had adjournment on account of the unavailability of the expert witnesses. But with technology, an expert witness can handle as many as 10 cases in a day because he, uh, his, his, his uh, testimony or evidence possibly goes 10 minutes only. So he can handle one case, move on to the next, move on to the next. The challenge has been if that person in, is in Mombasa and there is another case in uh, Nairobi or in Migori, he's not able to attend to them. So the leveraging on technology is key. Dan Atola Okot. Nano Cloren, TV 47.